Hi everyone, this is a quick demonstration video on how to use our Easy Google Fonts plugin. Our plugin allows you to add Google Fonts to your theme without having to write a single line of code. So to see how our plugin works, let's install it. So I'm going to go back to the dashboard, go to the plugins menu and click add new. In the search box I'm going to type in the name of our plugin which is Easy Google Fonts and click the search plugins button. This will show a list of plugins, so make sure that you collect, uh, select sorry, Easy Google Fonts by Titanium Themes and click the Install Now link. Click OK. That will download the plugin and install it onto your WordPress website. So once it's installed, make sure that you click the Activate Plugin link, uh, which will activate the plugin. So now that our plugin has been activated, let's go back to the front end of the website. And you can see that I've set up a simple a page here with some heading elements and some uh, paragraphs and block quotes and I'm just going to show you how easy it is to control um, an element on the page using uh, a default font control so to do this I'm just going to visit the customize section so the WordPress customizer is where our plugin um, adds its own section called typography um, and this allows you to update elements on the page um, live so without a page refresh so to show you an example you can see here we've got some default font controls uh, a paragraph control and headings one to six so we're going to in this example edit the heading three element so if I click the edit font toggle you can see that there's a list of of additional options that allows you to fine tune the appearance of the heading but in this case I'm just going to change the font and change the color of, of, of the font and the size. Um, feel free to explore the, the different controls that are available. But let's change the font family now. So if I select the font family, you can see a list of standard web fonts and you can see that all of the Google fonts are actually available here to select from as well. I'm just going to pick a Google font called Cabin Sketch. And you can see that as soon as I've selected that, um, the actual heading three element is actually updated live. Um, an important point to note is while you're experimenting with the appearance of, of this heading, um, if any user visits your website, they won't see they won't see the uh, the changes. They will only see it when you click the save and publish button above. Um, but let's uh, let's change the color of this. So I want my heading three to be red, and let's increase the size of this just so we can see it better. So once I'm happy with the size, so yeah, that looks good to me. Happy with the size, happy with the color. Uh, I click the save and publish button. Once I click close, you'll see that it's instantly um, added. So what we've managed to do here is uh, add a Google font into the actual theme, change the color and appearance, and we've done this all using the uh, default font control without having to write a single line of code. Now, a lot of the time in the support forms, we get uh, a question about how to manage elements that aren't uh, manageable by the default font controls. So the default font controls control paragraphs and headings one to five, sorry, one to six. Um, but let's say, for example, we want to control uh, or, or change the appearance of a block quote. What we'd have to do is create our own custom font control, which this plugin allows you to do. And let's just go ahead and do that now. So if I go back to the dashboard, and go to the settings menu, our plugin adds a new menu item called Google Fonts, let's just click that. This screen will prompt you to create a new font control, so just give it a name, so I'm just going to call this My Block Quotes. Click Create Font Controls. The screen will now prompt you to add your own CSS selector, so this is what I meant when I said you needed to have basic CSS knowledge just to define the selectors you want this uh, control to manage, so I'm just going to type in Block Quote. Once I'm happy with the uh, CSS selectors, so I can add more than one here, uh, but I'm just going to add block quotes in, in this example. I just click Save Font Control. You can see a message that says that the, uh, the font control has been updated and that we can visit the customizer to manage this control. So let's visit the customizer now. And if we go back to the typography section, we'll now see that in addition to our default font controls, we have our own font control here called My Block Quotes that we've just created. Now, let's have a look at the block quotes here. Click the Edit Font option, and you'll see the same controls that are available for the default font controls. So let's pick a custom font. So we'll pick any usual telescope. You'll see the block the block quotes are also 
updated live. So even for custom font controls, our plugin allows uh, live preview for those as well. So you can see those instantly being updated. So let's underline this as well. And let's set our own font color. So I want my block quotes to be green. Let's increase the uh, size of our block quotes. Once we're happy with the appearance, again, we just click save and publish. Now that's been saved, and we we'll click close. Go back to the front end of the website. You can see we've managed to control a custom element on the page using a custom font control. So that's just a quick introduction on how you'd use our plugin. If you have any questions, just please give me a shout on the support form. We're happy to give you a hand anytime. Um, and, and that's all there is to it. So yeah, we'd love to know what you think. Please leave your comments below. Cheers.